All right, let's let this question in the chat lead us into this next topic. <laughs> Looks like San Fran's going to get another one against L.A. Damon says, <laughs> should I trade T. Higgins and Hollywood for Jamar Chase? T. Higgins and Hollywood for Jamar Chase. My core is A.J. Brown, Waddle, Gowan. So Hollywood would just be riding the bench for the season. Now, the next topic on our list is Jamar Chase versus T. Higgins. I don't know if you have the tweet readily sure available. It, but we you always screenshot it. it you um, know, uh, here's a, a here's, a, here's a, a tweet from Nate List on September 30th. In the regular season, Jamar Chase has just one back-to-back top 20 or better week in his career. Interesting. Just to spice up that question a little bit, you know. That wasn't even the tweet I was wanting to see. I know, but it was it was in you know, in regards to. So we that were going to have the debate whether you would rather have Jamar Chase or T. Higgins because Casey sent me that after the Thursday night game, and I was like, ha, and I was like, well, you know, I mean, if you want to think about it in terms of like, oh, and then you sent me a tweet where it was like how Higgins basically scored more points than Josh Jake or uh, Josh Jacobs. Uh, Jamar, Jamar Chase. Chase and had better finishes and all this all right, so more from, yards. From what I understand, this Jacob Gibbs fellow from CBS has been a big T over Jamar after looking into this tweet and this fellow some more because I don't know who this is, but he's got a lot of followers and I think he's on CBS. Um, five, now make that 591 professional football routes run simultaneously for T Higgins and Jamar Chase. The results targets 136 Higgins, 116 Chase. Catches 92 Higgins, 71 for Chase. Yards, 1378 for Higgins, 1215 for Chase. PPR points, 277.8 for Higgins, 243.1 for Chase. So Higgins pretty much dominating. That, that settles it, cherry, right? Cherry pick stats to prove the point. But I don't know that he was really making a point. It was just he's kind making of putting. The, he's making a point. Yeah. Um, so he's been a big proponent of 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 T probably needing to be higher and maybe you know the play for the two um, potentially you know I mean he's definitely the cheaper of the two I, I don't and that's the thing right you get him a couple round a round or two later in I a startup maybe even three I mean he's I don't think it's an indictment of Jamar Chase Jamar Chase necessarily because everybody's you know probably doubling him and and Higgins and Boyd are getting the easier matchup and the easier run in, in most situations, I would assume. Um, I don't have the data to back that up. I probably could figure it out um, with all the PFF and coverage stuff. Um, but, you know, T has looked really good. T was the cheaper option. T would have is absolutely the guy that I would be buying in, in Dynasty and startups this season because it was really hard to get Chase. Um, I was... I, I'm not the biggest Chase guy. I think he's pretty good. Um, so this probably isn't the best question for me. I think he's slightly overrated, um, but but still really good. Um, o- overrated overall wide receiver too. Yeah, I I, I don't like or it. I don't, I don't love him. Definitely not one for me. Was, I think I have Jefferson. It was always two Chase. for me. And then it was almost like they're really – who else could you put there because of the age gap between the the guys who are proven to be good year in year out and not and it was basically like well Waddle and CD and CD hasn't really necessarily proved it and well AJ here we Brown's are with AJ Brown here we are and AJ Brown was a little banged up so it's like you know AJ Brown it's like and then still it's like I probably you probably almost still need to lean Chase but Waddle's making a case right now um, and AJ Brown's certainly making a case right now um, you know and CD without Dak has been making a case. Um, so is there a QB controversy in Dallas? No, no, no. no. Okay. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know really what I wanted to necessarily bring up there besides that. That's an interesting way to put that of basically saying that, you know, there's a lot of things favoring the T Higgins side of things. Now, whether that's because there's so much respect being put on Chase's name um, or not, uh, you know, I would assume that's the thing. It's just, it's easier targets going over here to T Higgins, uh, which is what he should be doing. Um, and Chase should be finding a way to get open in some of those games. He's had, you know, hasn't had any great games this season necessarily. Um, Chase? He had a pretty good one. Yeah. yeah. Chase? Uh, he, had a good, yeah, he had a good week one. Week one, yeah. Um, but, you know, Higgins has been pretty good if he hasn't been hurt. 
Um, and then yeah. Wood's usually pretty decent if one of them is hurt. Um, so I don't, I don't necessarily know what the point is there, um, but I uh, just wanted to kind of bring that up. Is, is T. Higgins the better player than Jamar Chase? No, probably not. Um, but T. Higgins is a really strong all-around is, player. Is but T. Higgins the better value and maybe the better fantasy asset? I wouldn't say asset, but maybe asset to your team, like as far as points in the lineup him. maybe it, it it certainly seems like it could be at least that you could at least debate that part of it yeah. the better long-term dynasty asset as far as value holding is certainly chase yeah i think chase has the more i think chase has a higher ceiling as well too yeah chase has more juice you know he has but but t t he's not as t's not as fast and chase is like more thick so you got this big fast fucking guy but but t I mean, Chase can do everything T can do, you know. I don't know, but T's fucking phenomenal all around player, and he contorts his body and he levitates into he's the much air. Bigger than Chase, and the yak is fucking awesome, and he's getting one on one coverage over there, and all Joe Burrow has to do is toss it up to him. And, and, and I don't know if how much one hundred or straight facts the coverage thing is, but that's what. My look like it on Thursday. What my assessment of this would be, and what a lot of teams are doing. Um, so, what was the question that that guy was asking? Would you trade T. Higgins and Hollywood for Jamar Chase? Again, that seems like yes. That's the better asset overall. So, usually, that's the decider in a trade for me. Holly, I mean, you're gonna get nuke coming back but hollywood right now a little bit of a slow start but the the target volume is great and the target volume for t higgins is great and it's like you're i don't think chase's points are coming anywhere near to outscoring those two combined um no probably but probably it, not when nuke comes back it seems like but if chase was scoring anywhere from 12 to 20 points every week you wouldn't be able to get him for those two guys probably Right now, there's just a little bit of lull and maybe some panic and some chase owners. Um, so it might not be the worst opportunity to try to get chase, but I think which side is he on? He's on the Higgins and Hollywood side. I guess that's who he has. He's trying to get chase. I'd probably hold if that if my team was competing with those two guys, and because I'm depending on how big my lineup is, if it start three wide receivers and extra flexes or whatever, I'd probably hold with those two guys. Uh, but if you're a a middling team and you want to just try to go get the best asset in the deal um i'd be fine with making a move to try to take those guys and parlay up to get chase because at the end of the day like if big co was here he'd be telling you probably to parlay those guys up and go get chase because that's you know the classic of what big co wants to do at the end of the day is take two at two smaller take, assets take two and, dimes and go get a quarter right and that's you know that's basically what he's going to be trying to do constantly um or buy the undervalued hollywood brown if he's undervalued to get the value volume where he can get it um so that's kind of my take on that you guys want to wrap this up Who, yeah you got um, any more thoughts toasted yeah I, I mean spit that fire son i think that higgins is underrated and i wouldn't say that chase is overrated but i would say that we haven't really seen him i mean we saw it last year obviously we saw him just but like we said, I mean, there's a lot of ups and a lot of mess. Yeah. Like if we were being if, like with Jefferson, you're seeing it consistently him putting up. Now, he did have a two or three game stretch there where then. OK, fine. You guys see Cooper Cup and he's putting out consistently getting Jefferson got back on track. Yes, for sure. But yeah, I mean. Ten I'd, point weeks happen to everyone. That's except, your floor. Except Cooper Cup. It's just that Jamar Chase is so young and tied to Joe Burrow, and them boys are boys. Them boys are boys. Like, we them boys. And everyone loves Chase, so you can always get a ton of fucking shit for Chase if you really want to. Yeah. I think I will go Chase. Like I said, that's probably the better move asset-wise long-term for your team, but if, you're, if it's a deeper squad... I might stick with those two guys who are just scoring me gobs of points every week. So the smart money is probably Chase, but the, the maybe winning money this year might yeah. be T. Higgins and Hollywood. The, sh the shark money the, or the sharp money. Yeah. 
I don't All think right. you're losing keeping those two guys long term. They're going to be good players. Yeah. Uh, so it's not like you're, but like you said, I think I think the smart asset move is Jason to make maybe making more money this year. Is if your team's good, is Higgins Hollywood. So. 